Hi, this is Aaron with iPhone App Daily. Today we have Wolfenstein 3D. And as you can see, it loaded pretty quickly. And here we can resume the game. Now, the first time I played this, resume was an option even though there was not a uh, ability to resume a game. You've got controls, we'll tap, and it shows you you can place the cursor in different positions and place it. <clears throat> so basically what you have is this is the cursor, this is the fire button, you can move those around, you have the different options. You have sensitivity, tilt move speed or tilt turn, those are turned off right now. We also have an advanced option up here, and it shows you the different layout. This is your health, this is shoot, how, many, how much ammo you have, and, and the touch controls to move. We'll go back to the menu. Oh, there we go, back, back. We can do web, uh, web page or new game. Uh, we're not going to go to the web page. It does have the classic music. Let me turn it up so you can hear it a little bit. And uh, we'll do a new game. If you've ever played Wolfenstein, you've got these different um, levels of difficulty. It does look like they gave it a slight graphic upgrade when you're playing. You can see there's eight levels, secret, and there we go. I may be wrong on the graphic upgrade. It just looks a little sharper. It might just be the screen. But here, let me show you this. You move left, right, up. You can walk back and forth, and you shoot with the right one. So we'll go through here. And normally what you're looking for is the exit, and sometimes you do need to get... Um, you do need to, to get things like, you can see this, looks like a, a chicken or turkey leg down here. You get that for health. The controls are pretty good, very sensitive, fully adjustable, and do work well. I don't prefer the tilt method, but it does work, and it, and it works fairly well. I just don't like the feel of it, and I don't really get used to it. So the idea of this game, if you're not familiar, this was the precursor to all first-person shooters. This was the first big one before Doom. It's from the same makers of Doom, id Software. John Carmack is the one responsible for this. And uh, just to give you a little history, his mother never thought he was would be successful um, making this sort of game. And with Doom, he had huge success and uh, kind of showed his mother by, in a magazine, he was standing next to his Ferrari. So that's just a neat little piece of history on this. I remember that particular magazine uh, myself as I played this when it first came out. So it's very similar. Graphics are really good. F the feel to the controls are really good. I, uh, it's unfortunate that you have to have your fingers over the screen. Here's a dog. And you can shoot that. You do get different weapons. And... Uh, there's uh, many times there's keys to get and that sort of thing uh, to prog to progress or proceed to the next level. So it's classic Wolfenstein, you know, where you're you're infiltra infiltrating uh, Hitler's castle where they do experiments on people and that sort of thing. That's the whole backstory behind it, anyway. Um, and the final boss is Hitler himself uh, when you do get to that. If I remember correctly, I believe it is, but uh, it's like a super, a super soldier. So you just go through these doors. You do have a map here, so you can uh, kind of figure your way out. Let's take a look, which is kind of nice. And it shows you areas you haven't been to, so um, looks like we're going to go straight, and then probably to the right. Yeah, here we go. And as you can see, it's very linear um, as far as where you can go. There's usually secret doors. And here's one that says you found a secret. And normally in the secret rooms, you have um, health and ammo, that sort of thing. Here's a different gun. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple game, but but a lot of fun and uh, definitely a classic, especially for the price. I think it's only a couple dollars, um, so definitely worth checking out. This is Wolfenstein 3D for the iPhone or iPod Touch, and it's on the App Store now. Uh, check it out. This is Aaron with iPhoneAppDaily.com. I'll see you next time.